Victor Bromer is the current 200-meter butterfly European champion, covering four lengths of the 50-meter pool in just 1 minute 55.29 seconds to take gold. We join him to see what it takes to master what is arguably the most difficult swimming stroke. Swimming is a really close sport. I mean, sometimes the difference between getting a medal and not getting a medal is 100 points of a second. So every day you just have to focus on getting each and every detail of your workout and, and your daily schedule right, just to hope that that will make the difference. The most important thing for me when I walk in to practice is to set a goal for myself. What do I want to accomplish with this specific set? If I've done it before, I try to think back and think, what did I do then? I want to improve that. If I've never done it before, I say to myself, I want to do good in this. I want to be good at, at that one. I want to finish strong. I want to keep up the pace from the beginning, something like that. The program for this morning was a technical recovery workout. So we, we, we started off with a short warm up with a bit of sprinting just to get the muscles going and, and yeah, to wake up. Then we did a small technical subset, really focusing on specific things in our stroke. In my instance, I really have to focus on the high elbow right now. So every single drill I did was to focus on the high elbow. Then a long aerobic main set. Butterfly is considered the toughest stroke of them all. So it wouldn't be physically possible to do an entire set in butterfly it would simply be too much of a strain on the body. So we do all the other strokes to work out, like to get in shape and to relax between the hard sets of butterfly. Every single tough set and every single pace set we do, I swim butterfly in and I swim different distances in butterfly between 25 meters at a time and 200 meters at a time. Everything that has to be quality work is in Butterfly. Working on fitness and strength is fundamental to Butterfly, but athletes must also perfect their individual technique by breaking down the stroke and focusing on the minute details. Since I moved here to work with my new coach, we've been working on getting my Butterfly stroke wider when I'm underwater. Like I came here and I was pulling really narrow. And when you do that, you don't catch as much water and you're not as strong when you get all the way like right under your body. So to make it easier to swim long sets of butterfly and to do the 200 butterfly in competition, we've been working on getting my stroke wider and wider to really make the difference. I mean, I haven't really gotten any stronger, but because we moved my hands out, I've been able to use my strength much more efficiently. So it's all about efficiency when we're talking about butterfly. And that's what we've been working on since I came here, efficiency. Victor will do everything he can do to be as good as possible because for Victor it's a little bit different than most swimmers. You have to a little bit be on the break to keep him back because he's always want to do more. So I think it's the focus he has had on improving himself and focus on the process to be better. I think that's exactly what we have to do for this season instead of not focusing too much on the results at the Olympics, but more what he has to do to swim faster than he's done, for, done before. Those swimmers must be able to identify small weaknesses to target in their training. It's also important to recognize the strengths that already give them the edge. I would say I'm a strong finisher. I'm good at keeping a really fast pace, the first 100, but then progressing through the, uh, the last 100. My personal best in the 100 butterfly is only one or two seconds faster than what I will go out in in the 200 meter. So you cannot call me a sprinter at all. I'm really a, a pacer, a good pacer and good, good finisher.